choosing the year 2013, uh, I ask God to forgive me for delaying the testimony because I've been a disobedient child. Because occasionally something normally crossed my mind that you have not given this te particular testimony, even though I've been giving testimonies before. But this particular one, something just crossed my mind. You've not given this testimony. I said, well, when I have another testimony, I'll hide it together. But thank God that that later, God has put an head to it. God has used that daddy to bring me out today. So I ask God to forgive me in Jesus' name. Amen. I, it happened that uh, on a particular morning, year 2015, and early in the morning, I just went, the weather was normal weather, normal cold weather. I just felt it in, it in my body. As I felt that it momentarily, it was like somebody poured a bucket of water on me. And I, I was sweating from head to toes. I, I said, what type of it is this? What type of water is this? I stood up, I looked around. I said, what happened? Ah. So I said, God will choose me. Bear me out. Oh, what is the meaning of this rubbish? So the thing kept on occurring, occasionally, to keep on occurring. Even when I'm inside the AC, that the AC is so cold, bringing out serious coldness. The thing just happened. The heat will just come up. And it, has, it will be as if they pour water in me again. I'll be so wet. The water will be as, as it will be as if I just come out from the bedroom. Ah, again, even if there is rain, that people are running, that are covering themselves that it's cold. The thing will just come. And the, the, it will come again. The sweat will be so much that anybody that look at me will say, are you just taking your bath? So the last time it now happened, we were having a crusade. And it was raining heavily. It, that affliction came again. Ah. I said, God, I'm choosing. This one has gone to the last, the last thing. Is a, this is a shame. Please, I don't want to see this shame again. Please, help me put, I cry to God, put an end to this shame today. But for the glory of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, that shame, that affliction left since that day, I'd never see it again. Thank you, God, I'm choosing. Thank you, Father. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My second testimony goes like this. I came down, it was late in the night. I came down at Osho, the, uh, 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 on top of the bridge. The bus stopped us there. I was coming for the vigil and I was trying to come down, straight down to come and take it, Jesha bus. So as I got to the middle, three boys just rounded me up. As they rounded me up, me, I've already prepared for them as a soldier. <laughs> that if they touch me, I know, who, <laughs> I know who I am. As the two of them came to my front like this, they just look at my face as they look at my face. All of them just say, shh. That's how they just finished. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I, I thank God for the two testimonies. And I wish my pastor, all the choosing members, my entire family members, and myself ever at last in Jesus' name. Amen. I cover my testimony, blood of Jesus. Clap unto God of choosing. Let's appreciate him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. The next testifier. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Almighty Father. By the grace of God, my name is Sister Pat. My branch is number one, Okota. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I came choosing 2005. By the grace of God, I want to testify how God of choosing heal me from this stam stamina uh, that our brother and our sister testify. Choosing praise and Stammering Lord. tongue. St yes, yeah, stamina. Stamina. Stammering. Okay, we understand. You are, you, are, you, can free, you are free. I am one of them. During that time, if he do me something that, is, that will pay me, my heart will large. And I will start jumping up and down. In fact, the light, the, my heart will be very big. And I will go and wait for you, for door. And I cannot talk. But when he asked me something, I will start crying. I will jump up, I will jump down. But when I started choosing, God of choosing, we don't need a way in my life. In Thank Jesus you, name. God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Since 2005 till now, I can. In fact, I'm a healthcare leader. Mm. Choosing, praise the Lord. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. 
You know, the reason you said you are a house care teacher, yes, you are suggesting over, to us over that ten years, I'm if a not that that healing took place, you would not have been a house care teacher no, with us. No, I will. Okay, that was what it used to be like. In fact, that it was terrible. I don't talk. They say a quiet girl. Ah, this girl, does, they don't know what I'm passing through. Mm. But I thank God for choosing. Thank I can you, speak God very well. Thank you, God of choosing. Yes. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I, I, I want to return all the glory to God of choosing concerning my daughter. My second daughter is my third issue. When I give birth to this daughter, after some months, we find out that this daughter is breathing. We ask, what is it? They say it's a asthma. From where? They say it's their family, this thing. I say, no. By the grace of God, as we are bringing here to choosing, if sun is raining, daddy will say, go to sun. There is a healing. Rain is falling, we go to rain. And all of them is working in us by the blessing of God. But I'm telling you, since that day reached now, the guy is in year one in university. Mm. He has never tested injection. Mm. He has never gone to any hospital. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. So I want to return all the glory to my almighty Father. And I want to ask God for showing me mercy. If, if not, Daddy has come out and asked who owes God testimony. I am not praying for Daddy. Daddy, our God Almighty, we see you through. The ten pillars so mandated and three vow vision shall be established in heaven in Jesus' name. Amen. And your labor in our life can never be in vain in Jesus' Amen. name. And God Almighty, we service you all about you. Sand health, sand, sand, and sand, and sand, sand life, both you and mommy and your and your internal family. In Jesus' wonderful name, I pray. Amen. I pray for choosing worldwide, heaven at last, and me and my children and my family. I cover the testimony with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, I pray. Clap unto God of choosing. Let's appreciate him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Second to the last testifier for today. Choosing people, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The hallelujah is too small. Choosing people, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Chi Wemadekwe. I joined Choosing 2009 and I came from Liberia. Choosing, praise the Lord. My testimony goes like this. About three years ago, my husband was sick. They have a big knot right here, swelling up a bit. So we went from hospital to hospital. All the general hospital, they diagnosed and said it's two more. That after two weeks, they book oppression. But when they book oppression, some Nigerian people, my sister, say, carry this man to Nigeria. They cannot make it here. But I told them, I'm a choosing. There is nothing God cannot do. So we continued in prayer. What my husband did is that he went online with our daddy programs and we keep on praying i'm going to hospital before a day to the operation day he woke up in the morning after following our daddy program a, the day before that day he woke up he told me that he cannot feel the pain that he cannot even feel the nuts mm. that he seems that he's okay i said okay to god be the glory we went back to the general hospital they told us that they are going to give us another paper to go to Jamaica Hospital in order to confirm. So they gave us a different paper. We went to Jamaica Hospital. When we went to Jamaica Hospital, they conducted all the necessary um, tests they're supposed to do. They said, behold, there is nothing like two more again. Wow. Praise the Lord. Clap unto God of choosing. Let's appreciate him. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Mm. I wanted to give this testimony to the crusade, but there was no chance. Testimony was too much. They told us to go back. After that, my second testimony goes like that, like this. Last year, he came down a day 
for us to take flight and come to Nigeria, he came down with sugar problem. That is diabetes. No way for him to get up. I was helping him to get up. But I said, we must go to Umbidi. We managed to come to Umbidi the following day. We will come the following day. Our daddy prayed. After the prayers, we left to our village. And after that, we returned back to this uh, Ijesha. After our daddy sorrow to joy, the uh, so-called diabetes that was blocking his heart, he cannot breathe. Everything was crushed away. Mm. Thank you, God of choosing. Clap unto him. Let's appreciate him. Thank you, Father. God has been so great for me and my family. The third testimony goes like this. It was about three years ago that they called us from Liberia that our house in the village is covered with shrine. We said, what is this? We can't really understand. They say the villagers should ask what happened. They go ahead asking. Somebody presented himself that he's the person that puts the shrine over there. They asked him, what did these people do? He cannot really explain. He said that we should give him money. We bought the land from their family people. But the village people say, you are not the owner of the land. So after that, he said, unless we answer to the shrine, he cannot move that shrine from there. People said, my husband should come back from uh, Liberia. He came back. He entered the Jesha. He said, this is our own God shrine. After being in Jesha for three days, he left for village. When he get down to village, he called the brother and asked him, have I any problem with you? What have I done? But there is no answer. Only answer me in a shrine. He said, remember, I'm a choosing. I'm a choosing. I'm a choosing. There is no connection between darkness and light. I cannot answer you there. A choosing cannot go to the shrine. He said, let me see what will save you. People keep on intervening. But after a few days, we call our church people. They prayed and used pick up to pack all that rubbish and waste it and burn it to ashes. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Then he told us that battle line has been drawn. Then my husband said, I'm going back to Liberia. I hand you over to the God of choosing. He left. So the man said he gave us six months for all my family to finish. That we will die one by one. My husband said, but I'm a choosing. To whom report shall we believe? So we left. My brethren, guess what happened? It's not that we are happy that such happened. But since he said a choosing should not leave, so the reverse was the case. Mm. This particular man that gave us six months, after six months, the seventh month was daggered to death by his in-laws oh. in Abuja. Oh. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is not end the matter. They said it since he died that they still wait, that the year still has some months to run. The medicine, what they call it, the the person that owned the shrine keep on threatening. When he continued threatening, thunder came and killed him. What, what killed him? Thunder came and killed? Killed the owner of the shrine. The owner of the shrine. Then they went for them and replaced that man with another man. That one died mysteriously. Mm. They just came in the morning, they saw his dead body in front of the shrine. Mm. So since that day till today, that shrine was left like that. And we told them that the God of choosing is on course. They should forget about us or face the wrath of God. Hmm. Choosing since that day till today, people in the village fear the God of choosing. Hmm. Choosing, praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Hmm. In fact, the wonders of God in my life is immeasurable. When I begin to say all of them, we will stay here today. But the fourth testimony goes like this. Last year, when we came back, in the house I, I and my husband built in the village, there is something that draws line with three big iron, very big, and go around the house every day. And in the night, they'll be making us afraid, causing noise. Every midnight, we keep on doing midnight prayer. Every midnight. There is a, a night that reached when we travel from Ijesha here. My husband woke me up. He said, did you have any revelation? I said, yes. I saw a man standing to the window. For me to try to see that man, you wake me up. He said, behold, you are seeing truth. Get up. I get up. Physically, there is a man standing by the side of our window. He said, could you see? I said, well, we hand you over to the God of Jesus. When we lifted up all our voice and started praying, where is the God of my pastor power? 
the God of my pastor power. Where is the God of my pastor power? Deliver me today. Choose him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. After that song, we continue praying until around 3 o'clock we slept off. Behold, in the morning, a man came and confronted us, a man from the village, that this thing we wear cannot save us. That because of us, he went to Israel and brought another cloth that looked like this to tell us that that, that we, are, we belong to occult, that his own is the highest occult. I said, I would not mind you because they call my master the head of uh, Bezebog. the Bezebog. So he brag and brag and brag and brag and go. After he left, the following day, we couldn't see the line again. Because the village people told us that it's the dreadful spirit of that land. I said, but since we have entered, the God of choosing came with us. And there's a funny thing I do in life. I tell this great God of choosing to release for me 54 million angels to work with me. He never put me to shame. So we continued that prayer. The line stopped. As the line stopped, we left from, uh, before we left, the day before we left, there is a big bed that came in front of our house and sit down. It cannot move. It cannot walk. My daughter, very small girl, is the person that comes out first. He run inside, Mama, hey, you say you can keep bed. Come and see bed. I say, ah, ah, what type of bed? See, we flew away. Say no. Mama is still there. I can't close her to the bed. It's still there. I rushed outside. The bed is still looking at me. I went in. I called my husband. So I don't know what is this. My husband came outside. He said, he rushed in again, pick up knife. He came, the big bed still sitting down there looking at him. He killed the bed. Mm. Chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When he killed the bed, the following day we left. Confession came about. The same man that brought the clothes from Israel was confessing around the village, telling them that he did sacrifice nobody can do and said his properties on our behalf. Still, these people went back to Liberia. What type of God is this? We send a message to them, say, if you cannot beat us, join us. Mm. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because they give me little time, I will stop like this. When next I return back to Jesha, I will continue my testimony. At this junction, I pray for our daddy. More unimaginable anointing. Amen. I pray for him protection of the Almighty God, continuous protection of the Almighty God and heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. For our mommy Gio, I pray that the Almighty God will give her more option to function and at the same time sound health and angelic body in the name of Jesus. Amen. For the children of our daddy Gio, I wish them all the blessings the Lord has made for the choosing ones and heaven at last in Jesus' name. For all choosing in Liberia, I wish them heaven at last. All choosing all over the whole world, heaven at last. Me and my family, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Clap unto God of choosing. Let's appreciate him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. The last testifier for today. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I thank God for making me a choosing. Thank you, Father. My name is Bro Chibeze Amade. I come from Imo State, precisely from Owele North, Olakwo. I thank God for testifying in this conference hall today. My testimony goes like this. That was a business I made with my business partner last year. That landed us to police station at Imo State State headquarters, police headquarters. The business woman was owing me 900,000. But going to police, no avail. I spent 80,000 in police. Police were encouraging me to hold on. That even federal government are owing money after collecting money. Then uh, I decided, uh, the woman said, <coughs> the decision was January, she'll pay me, January and then, by what he promised. But you know, she don't have any hope of uh, getting the money. So I decided to be in Mbidi, January. This is Mbidi, Lagos Experience, 2023. So I typed out to the God of Choosing. So I was here the second day, the woman called me that my money is ready. <coughs> Clap on to God of Choosing. 
Thank you, Father. Okay, I told her that now, he told me that now, who day am I coming to collect the money? I said, let, let's give me in this week, Wednesday. So when I, the, the Monday I went back to East, Wednesday I come, she transferred the money into my account. I want to thank the God of choosing for that miracle he has done for thank me. Thank you, God of choosing, God of answer prayers. Thank you, Father. I try as a human being, I didn't succeed. For the God, I went to God, God intervened. Mm. I say, all glory, all honor be given to God of choosing in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for my general pastor and the family, heaven at last. I pray for choosing members of the world, world heaven at last. Pray for my family at home at the most day, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's clap unto God of choosing. Let's appreciate him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Now bow down your head, close your eyes. 